Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm doing a review and a demo of the Arata hair cream and the hair gel. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. So I'm going to style my hair now and I'm going to rush through this a bit because you've already seen how I style my hair. It's exactly the same. Please note that today I deep conditioned because it's been so long since I've deep conditioned and my hair really, really needed it. So yeah, that is the only difference between this review and the other reviews that I've posted on this channel. So keep that in mind. So I'm just getting my hair wet. And I'm going in with some leave-in conditioner. Then I'm taking the Arata hair cream, which is a styling product. This is what it looks like. I'm only taking this much. And then I'm forming my curl clumps as usual. Gel. Leave-in conditioner. Now lastly, I'm just going to take some more gel, about this much. Tilt my head to the front, touch my hair. And scrunch. Okay, so I'm gonna plop, keep my plop on for 30 minutes, then air dry my hair and be right back. 
All right, so my hair is completely dry now. I have to scrunch out the crunch. All right, so these are my results. Now let's talk about the products. So first we have the Arata hair cream. Now this is a styling product. It is moisturizing as well, but it would be wrong of me to tell you that you can use this without a leave-in conditioner. So now with the Arata products, I definitely noticed that there was a learning curve. And let me explain what I mean. So for the first few washes, I used just the hair cream and the gel and my results weren't that great. What I noticed was when I was using too much of it, then my hair was feeling very weighed down and greasy. And when I was using too little of it, my hair was very dry and didn't feel moisturized. Then I decided to use the product in conjunction with a leave-in conditioner and my results were much better. So I would say that definitely use a leave-in conditioner if you're styling with these two products. Now, if you have type 3 curls, then you will love this product. Whereas if your hair is wavy, you might not like this product so much. So I have wavy hair and I have high porosity hair. And that means that my hair can tolerate some heavier products. But if I use too much of this, then my hair feels extremely greasy and extremely oily. So what I would say is if you're a wavy girl, even if you're high porosity, you can totally do without this product. But if you have curls, which means if you have type 3 hair, then you are absolutely going to love this product. But if your hair is low to medium porosity, I would say that you could skip this product. You don't need it in your lineup when you're styling. Another thing for me to note is that when you're emulsifying this product, then a little water is really nice to mix in with the product while application. I've tried using this on its own, which means to say that I tried to emulsify it when it was dry and it did not help with the spreadability of the product. So keep that in mind. Now, the gel. This gel initially gave me so many problems. Now, let me explain why. Whenever you're using new products, there is always going to be a learning curve. So, I was using this gel mixed in with a little bit of water. I was emulsifying and then I was applying, which means that I was using very little gel and that did not work for me. My hair had no bounce, it had no flare, it had no body, no volume. So then I tried upside down styling with the gel and again I used some water with the gel which means that I was using too little and that did not work for me either. My results were no different. My curls were extremely limp and felt very soggy and soft. So then that led me to believe that maybe I have like a moisture overload. So I skipped out on the moisture, started using protein products in conjunction with the styling duo and that did not help either. I did the upright styling that I usually do, my results were not great. I finally decided not to mix the gel in with any water and I saw if that made a difference and that absolutely did. Keep in mind that I have high porosity 2B hair and my density is medium. Now, also keep in mind that this gel, I would say, is in between a 3 and 4 hold. So it's not quite a 3, it's a little harder, but it's not a 4 either, it's a little softer than a 4. Now, what you need to decide is what kind of a curly girl are you and what are your preferences when it comes to your results. Do you really, really enjoy glossy, beautiful definition in your curls? Or do you prefer some texture, some volume? You don't mind frizz as long as you have that nice line mane hair. This gel will give you the former. Which means to say that this gel is going to give you beautiful definition. Your hair is going to be extremely glossy. I mean, the moment you use a gel without alcohol and you look at the gloss potential of your hair, you are going to be astounded. Now, we all know that the Enliven gel that I use has a bit of alcohol in it, right? Which is questionable when it comes to whether it is completely CG or not. Now, this does not have alcohol, but 
the results that I get are also a little different. With this gel, what I get is beautiful definition, extremely glossy curls. The curls are extremely soft. I don't have too much frizz on top that is there but when i do have some frizz and i use a gel with a little bit of alcohol then that frizz in the crown area makes it easy for me to fluff out and give me some beautiful volume generally i'm used to taking my hands into my hair and doing this and it generally perks up my hair and makes my hair really nice and big i can make my hair go from here to here if i had a gel that had some alcohol in it now that might be your preference or you could be the kind of curly girl who does not want any frizz at all and just wants definition. You do not care about volume at all. You only care about beautiful curls. You don't mind if they look a little limp as long as they're all together and they look nice and manageable, then you're happy. If this sounds like you, then you will love this gel. But when you're using this gel, it is not reasonable for you to expect your curls to last till your next wash day if you're washing after seven days, which means to say that on day two and day three, your hair is not going to get bigger. Your hair is not going to get more volume. You're going to notice that you lose a lot of curl definition. So if you only care about your day one results and you want to leave it open and the rest of the week, you want to try different hairstyles. And so you don't want your curl clumps to be robust and intact, then you will really enjoy this gel. But if you're the kind of curly girl who prefers texture, you prefer that, how do I explain this? So this gives you beautiful definition, but your hair looks very tame. If I had to compare this to the Enliven Gel, because I want to speak from experience, right? If I use the Enliven Gel, then my hair looks a little more textured. It gives me much more crown definition. I'm able to shake out and fluff out my roots and make my hair look really big. And the Enliven Gel is something that will keep my curl clumps intact from right from day one to day seven, sometimes even day nine. I can absolutely stretch my wash days out and it's not gonna make a difference. Whereas with this gel, you are gonna have beautiful, tame, results on day one but after day two and day three your curl clumps are not going to be so robust and intact they're going to break down but there is a benefit to that if you're like i said if you're the kind of girly girl who likes experimenting with hairstyles and you don't like your clumps to be super tight and together and you want to release them so that you can do these beautiful hairstyles then you will really enjoy this gel now how much of this gel do i use on the packaging itself, in the directions, it says that use a generous amount of this gel for results. So as indicated, that is the best way to use this product. This gel does very well if you're the kind of curly girl who does not want frizz. When I use this gel, these are the best results I get with regard to frizz. The frizz is controlled to a very, very, very great extent. In fact, I'm sure you'll agree that this is the least amount of frizz that you guys have seen me with on this channel. So the cream retails for $5.99 and this retails for $6.99. So essentially 600 and 700 rupees each. But I got this in a combo deal and I think I spent 650 on both. In that sense, it was a steal. Arata keeps having deals on their website and on Instagram. You'll find a lot of ads for when they go half off. If they go half off, then I would say that the gel is definitely something that you should try once in your curly girl journey. See if you enjoy the results and then decide if this is a keeper or not. Arata is completely cruelty free and that makes me really happy. This is also Indian made, which is fantastic. They are one of the first curly girl brands that came out in India. Now, you already know my thoughts on the cream, which means to say that it's a great addition to your routine, but you can skip it if you don't have tighter curls. If you have type three hair and you have tighter curls and you really need that help when it comes to styling, when it comes to hold your curls, but you don't want a result that is extremely dry, and you want something that gives you nice softness, but it is also heavy, 
which means to say that this is a heavier product it does very well to style your hair it gives you fantastic moisture the moisture potential of this is a plus the hold is also pretty nice then this would be a great addition to your routine the gel will this feature in my routine in months to come well let me put it this way if i'm ever looking for results that are extremely defined but i don't want any frizz i just need my hair to behave that day i need it to look nice and tame i don't want big hair and i want extreme gloss then the gel is an absolute keeper for me but on other days when i want volume and i want texture because look i'm a curly girl i want a big beautiful natural hair sometimes i'm not looking for just definition and like tame hair because i don't want my hair to be tame i want it to be all crazy and big and acting up but that's just my preference your preference might not be the same which is why look i'll always give you options and i'll tell you what i observe right so yeah if you're the kind of curly girl who has high density hair and you don't want your hair to always be really big and lion mane esque then you will love this gel the moisture potential the gloss that this gel gives you is fantastic it is not greasy once you scrunch out the crunch you're left with beautiful soft curls they'll be extremely shiny they'll be extremely moisturized they'll be extremely tame the definition will be a plus the hold while it's drying will be fantastic which means to say that you know this is not like an aloe vera gel the gel the hold of this gel is far superior so when it's drying the hair is not going to frizz up even if you're a little rough with it because it will hold your curl clumps very nicely on day 1 not so much on day 2 day 3 day 4 you will be left with some of the definition but your curls will be very very soft and that might be your preference if it is then trust me you will love this gel i'm trying to be as real and as raw as possible so that you know exactly what you get with these products and hopefully i've explained myself well and you know exactly what you're going to get when it comes to these products now i'm very inquisitive and i love to know what your results are because of course we have different hair so what my results are will be very different to what your results are i'm extremely curious in knowing honest real thoughts on these products so if you've ever used any of these two please let me know in the comments down below i have a friend who also used the cream uh she has low to normal porosity hair and she wasn't really happy with the cream because it really weighed down her hair so yeah if you're high porosity then this might be an absolute game changer for you so please let me know in the comments down below have you used any of these products if you did what were your results like what's your hair like what's your density what's your texture what is your curl pattern i want to know It was a lot of fun trying out Arata and I'm very excited to try out more brands. Let me know if you liked this review, if this helped you in any way. All right, I guess that was it. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed my content, consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me a like. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.